I will now demonstrate how to view an error rows preview file from the activity log and use it in debugging a task, locate a task ID, and view a task details page. All right, so here we have a task in the activity log that completed with the status of warning, and you can see that it has zero success rows and 10 rows failed. Um, now, if the if the status was failed, there would be an error message here that would give me some sort of indication of, of why the task failed. Uh, but because this was a row level error, I can preview my error rows file from the activity log and I can do that by clicking on the icon and it will download into a, a CSV file that I can open in Excel. And in that file, you will uh, get the columns from your source and then uh, an error column where you can see, you can get some sort of idea of, of why um, those rows failed. So invalid date, Princeton. So obviously I mismapped some of my fields on the field mapping step there intentionally for the purpose of the demonstration, by the way. Um, so now if I want to view the full error row file, what I'll need is the task ID. And where I can get that is if I click on the task and go to the task details page, uh, within the at the URL bar, at the very end of the URL, I can see the ID for the task and I can copy it and then search the error logs for that um, that file. And also on this page, the task details page can be pretty helpful when you're trying to figure out what's maybe wrong uh, with a task that failed. You can see your source and target details on one page. Um, you can see your data filters, and also down below your field mapping, you can see all of your target fields here in an unscrolling non-frame. And this can also be helpful if you're trying to put together some sort of process guide, maybe um, maybe print this off or print it, save it as a PDF uh, to compile with your other uh, tasks that you've set up. Now the other thing I wanted to show you here is um, under C drive here, uh, program files, Informatica Cloud Secure Agent, main, and then RDTM DIR. If I go there, this is where my log files will be located. So my success files, my session log files, and my error log files. So I can um, search here for that, that full error file.